I'll sing you the story of a duck. A duck whose name is Alfred Quack. Yes, Alfred Jonathan Quack. He comes from a lovely little town. A lovely town in Waterland. Where life is grand. Dipping, bobbing, diving, Alfred's always striving. He seldom wears a frown. You'll never keep a duck down. Dipping, bobbing, diving, Alfred's always striving. He seldom wears a frown. You'll never keep a good duck down. Students have gone home already. Hey? My Alfred hasn't gone home. What's happened, Mr. Barr? Oh, sorry, Hank, I've no idea. Children often drop in at different places on their way home after school. This time it's getting later than ever. It's becoming dark out there. Yeah, I wonder where he might be. Well, thank you, Mr. Bart. I'll look for him around the neighborhood. He might be home now. Yes, just a sec, Hank, about Alfred. Yes? Well, uh, Alfred fell asleep during history class today. Oh, dear. Tell him to work a little harder in the class and to try not to fall asleep during lessons. Yes, I'm glad you told me. I must say, it's certainly unusual for the father to be a mole and for the son to be a duck. Easy does it. I told you it was impossible for you, Alfred. But we can't stay here forever. Darn it. That you? Oh, 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 it hurts badly. I'll get out of here, no matter what. Oh, it's getting so dark. <laughs> I don't want to stay here for the night. And for that matter, I wonder what happened that they came to me down there in the well in the first place. Well, maybe they like being down there. No, not likely. <laughs> oh, now I see. Yeah, they fell down there and they can't get up. <laughs> Look how smart I am. Boy, oh boy, am I hungry! I reckon it's about time you gave up now, Alfred. Maybe someone will come look for us. Who? Alfred? Alfred! Oh, 
Who would come to look for us? Who would come so far out of town? You think your father is coming to look for us, don't you? I do. You really have a lot of confidence in that old mole. I certainly do. Eh? Just as though he were a real father? Yes, like a real father, and sometimes like a mother. Don't think you can kid me, Alfred Quack. Well, whatever makes you say that? How can a duck think a mole is his real parent? I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe it or not. Alfred, there are only the two of us here, so be honest with me, all right? I know that you've been raised by that mole, but I don't think it's possible that a duck like you can look up to him like your real parent. Now then, am I wrong? I just trust Hank and respect him as my real father. Goodness gracious, I think you're really strange, Alf. Alfred! Ah! Alfred! Oh! oh no, I'm on ice. Public warning, thin ice, very dangerous and strictly forbidden for skating. And here thing, don't tell me Alfred sank here. Alfred is a duck, not a mole. If he did fall in the water, he'd never drown. All the same, I'd certainly like to know where he's got to. Meow. They just aren't moving at all now. Oh my, I'm starving to death. I can't wait any longer. It's past my dinner time. No, no, no. If I jump in, I won't be able to get out. Oh, darn it. There's someone up above. Who, then? I don't know, but I heard somebody's voice. I didn't hear anything. Well, I did. Maybe it's your father, Alfred, and he's coming searching for us. Hey, is anyone up there looking for us? Dolph is here, too! <laughs> See, there's no one. I've wasted my energy shouting like that. There was someone. No, Alfred. That's impossible. Hello! Anyone? Anybody up there? Please, help! No, me, oh, 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 you are persistent. I'm giving up. I'll stay the night. But you're injured, Dolph, and you need to get quickly to a doctor. It's just a broken wing. Ah! Did you have to remind me? I'd almost forgotten it. Oh, it's painful. I'm sure someone is coming for us. Put a sock in it, Alfred. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Your father won't come. Your father must also be worried about you too, Dolph. No, Alfred. I know he'll be out drinking. And your mother would worry if she were alive. Don't talk about my mother, Alfred. <laughs> hey, look. Just look. My beak is dark all over. You don't see any yellow on it, do you? I don't see yellow. 
but it's too dark to see here anyway. So as long as you keep your mouth shut, then nobody will know that I have a yellow beak, right? Of course I won't tell anybody. But I really don't quite see why you have to keep it such a secret, Dolph. You don't have to see why, okay? Okay. So everything's just as it was before. Oh? Uh? Remember what Mr. Bart was talking about in class during the Middle Ages? Yeah? You were sleeping, so you didn't hear, Alfred. I heard the last part, Dolph. Now let me tell you about the darker side of medieval times. In those bad old days, you'd be sentenced to death or run out of town if you held different views from others. And the same thing happened here in Polder. Not only those who had different views, but also those with different customs or appearance. That's right. If you'd have been living then, you'd have been executed. Oh. Or thrown out of town. Alfred is a bad hmm? friend. You are Alfred Jonathan Quack, citizen of this town, are you not? Yes, Mr. Bart, but you know me already, Mr. Bart. Quite enough of your Mr. Bart. I am the judge presiding in this court. Are you a mole, or are you a duck? Because my father was a mole, sir. That is the problem. You are causing a lot of confusion by insisting on an unusual relationship of father and son. Insisting what? As we have been assured of this fact, you are to be exiled from this town of Polder. Ah! You are forbidden to cross the borderline into this town forever. Banish this duck from the town at once. You are very frightened after you are sentenced to leave the town. And the soldiers drag you out of the courtroom and load you onto a cart. Having been exiled, you just keep roaming aimlessly and finally come across this well. So this is the old well Mr. Bart spoke of. Exactly. Didn't you know that? Another expulsion had happened. And that was the end of the incident. You can easily imagine, can you not, what a miserable life it was for the people who were expelled from the town. They say the souls of those people still roam around the well to this day. Ah, are you feeling scared now, Alfred? No, Dolph, why should I be? Listen, those ghosts are calling you. Ah! Can you hear that? Alfred. <laughs> ah! Alfred. That's what I t t told you. Alfred. Alfred. Oh. Oh. Oh, they scratch paws the cat, that is. What's the matter with you, 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 Alfred? I don't, 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 don't know. Why am I floating in the air? Oh. <laughs> My 
doing great. <laughs> doing really great. Alfred? Alfred, where are you going? Alfred! Who are you? What are you doing with me? Just trying to help you out of here. Don't move around so much. Are you really going to help? Here? What about me? I can only do you one at a time. But don't worry, I'll get both of you out and into my mouth. <laughs> ah! Spongebob's! Help! Hey! Help! Hey! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dogs down there. Quick, think of something, Hank. I know, but... No, I'll go help him out. Wait, Alfred. Help me, Alfred. Here, dog. Come on. Come on, you're all... A little higher, dog. Hold on to my wing. So it won't take long now. It's your fault. Huh? It's all your fault. Yes, your fault, Alfred. Just all your fault. Dolph! It's all your fault. Stand up, please, please, don't stand up, please. <laughs> <laughs> Drink this up. Thanks, Hank. Ah. Now, however did you fall in that well, Alfred? It was Dolph that fell. I jumped in the well to help him out. So how did he drop in then? Mm. Will Alfred tell them that I paint my beef black? <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. There 
was a reason, now wasn't there. Sorry, Hank. I promise not to tell anyone about it. Really? Then you don't have to talk about it. Come in! Oh, hi, you guys. You had a rough time, Dolph. What happened to Alfred? He's all right. He's back in school. Did he uh, say anything about me at all? He said that you tripped over and fallen into the well. Is that true? He lied. <gasps> yes, I didn't fall, but Alfred pushed me into the well. Oh, that is very mean of him. He is very mean. And did he say anything else concerning me at all? Nothing, really. Hmm. Then what is it that made Alfred fall in the well, too? Ah, uh, Alfred, uh, Alfred, he, he tripped over a rock and fell in. Hmm, yes. <laughs> Oh, how's Dolph? You liar. Hey? You rotter. Hey? Hello, Alfred. Hi, Dolph. Alfred is so merry, so very, very merry. He's even bright and cheerful if things are going wrong. Whenever he's downhearted, 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 the feelings never with him for very, very long. Young Alfred is quite sporty, he likes to be quite sporty, he's very much like any normal, lively lad. Sometimes he can be naughty, but even when he's naughty, you'll find he's never, never, ever really bad. Join us again.